So I haven't been, well, keeping up to date with the latest and greatest in regards to Power World. I know they got a court case going down where I believe Nintendo are trying to sue them on the basis of Power World. I don't know, copyright infringement on, I think it's something to do with the Pokeballs and capturing pals and the similarities there, which we'll talk about a little bit later on in the video. But massive news has just dropped in regards to Power World. Guys, it releases today on the PS5. Yes, this is confirmed. They tweeted this out. And today, guys, I bring you all the information you need to know. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ. And if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so they basically tweeted this out literally two minutes ago as I'm making this video. Hashtag Power World releases on the PS5 today open world survival adventure single player and multiplayer over 100 types of powers fight train and work together with your powers available on the playstation store where they share this link and if we click on it guys we can see all the details uk price is going to be 24 uh, 50 more or less uh, you can see right here ps plus required to play online um, supports up to four online players with ps plus online play optional and if we scroll down guys we see just in general info about the game now in regards to cross play they've dropped no information here in regards to if you can play with people on steam or on the xbox all i know is i play this on steam i do main xbox but i play on steam it's actually quite a decent game it runs smooth as heck on steam i think xbox players are still having many many issues in regards to the game crashing this that and the other i'm not sure exactly how it's going to perform instantly on ps5 i'm just glad now it's on all platforms because this is something i actually support i hate when a game is just held off to one platform uh, in regards to console now power world is released on all platforms so yes guys the ps5 now has or playstation now has power world which is great news in my opinion now, I just want to quickly talk about what they said in regards to their lawsuit that was going down here. And I believe it is Nintendo here that's pushing this. They tweeted this out, which you're seeing on screen now, regarding a lawsuit. Yesterday, a lawsuit was filed. Yesterday being, this was on the 19th of September, uh, six days ago. Uh, but they say, yesterday, a lawsuit was filed against our company for patent infringement we have received notice of this lawsuit and will begin the appropriate legal proceedings and investigate into the claims of patent infringement at this moment we are unaware of the specific patents we are accused of infringing upon and we have not been notified of such details Pocket Pair is a small indie game company based in Tokyo. Our goal as a company has always been to create fun games. We will continue to pursue this goal because we know that our game brings joy to millions of gamers around the world, which it did. It definitely did. Power World was a surprise success this year both for gamers and for us. We were blown away by the amazing response to the game and have been working hard to make it even better for our fans. We will continue improving Power World and strive to create a, a game that our fans can be proud of. It is truly unfortunate that we will be forced to allocate significant time to matters unrelated to game development due to this lawsuit. However, we will do our utmost for our fans and to ensure that indie game developers are not hindered or discouraged from pursuing their creative ideas. We apologise to our fans and supporters for any worry or discomfort that this news has caused. As always, thank you for your continued support of Power World and Parky Pear. Now, they do link a website which just basically showcases exactly what we've just read there. But in regards to what's going down here, this is only what I've heard. It is Nintendo doing this. Well, trying to, I don't even know, shut them down for sure. But a little bit more information in regards to from Games Radar here. They state, while it remains to be seen which patents Nintendo believe are infringed, a Japanese patent law expert says Nintendo may have strengthened several claims specifically to target Power World, while another expert says Nintendo holds so many claims over patents that it could have sued half the industry in 2017 
One patent that's specifically catching the eye relates to throwing a pokeball out in the open world. Regardless, as experts point out, this is unlikely to be wrapped up soon, with a five year time period looking more likely than one year. While it appears uh, that the House of Mario has given up on arguing that Power World appears too similar to Pokemon, many experts believe uh, things don't look great for Pocket Pair regardless, as Nintendo wouldn't move unless it's confident of winning. So if I'm honest, that doesn't sound too promising. But yeah, where we go from here, I have absolutely no idea. One thing I know for certain though, this game, Power World, will never be released on Nintendo Switch, which I know actually quite a few people are calling for. I mean, it is the Pokemon game, Pokemon should have been many, many years ago. The fact that Pocket Pair have done a better Pokemon game than Pokemon or Nintendo have ever done is probably one of the main reasons I feel Nintendo are so enthusiastic about taking Pocket Pair down. In regards to the patents, it believes Pocket Pair have probably abused and has taken advantage of. I mean, I understand. I mean, if they have got a patent in regards to throwing Pokeballs, capturing monsters, throwing them in the open world, I'm not sure what Pocket Pair are going to be able to do in their own defense. But at the end of the day, guys, there are so many ways out of individual legal actions. But I do feel right now at the end of the day, Nintendo is such a big company. It absolutely dwarfs Pocket Pair in regards to what it can do, the power it has behind it. So yeah, I'm not sure here what Pocket Pair is going to be able to do in their defense. I'm not sure what it means for the future of them or the game. But as of right now, guys, like I said, nothing is stopping Pocket Pair. They've just released this game on PS5. It's available right now as far as I'm... I don't play on PS5, by the way. I had one. I gave it away. I'm looking on buying another one because there's a few games I do like the look of. But Power World is right now, it says here, is released on PS5 today. Because I know many, many PlayStation players have waited a heck of a time to get this game. And yet, I enjoyed it. I absolutely grinded the heck out of it i still go on here and there on my pc playing via steam like i said xbox seemed a little bit dodgy for me but because i had early access on pc i just stuck to pc but i've got many pals who play on xbox and i said the game runs fine about 80 percent of the time but it still suffers from major crashes here and there so yes take that in mind guys it probably will perform the same on a ps5 but there we have it guys tell me your thoughts down below is it too little too late for this on the ps5 let me know guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i'll see you on that next one